So in this video, what I want to do is give you some hints and tips to how to face a question that asks you to form a differential equation. Because usually this is one of the most challenging parts of differential equations, actually coming up with the equation itself, not necessarily forming it. Um, so there's not just going to be one size fits all for all these problems. And really what I'm going to be doing here is I've, I've nicked an exam paper question, so which I'm going to talk through and hopefully you'll be able to pick up some of the ideas from it. So a fungus is spreading on the side of a wall. The total surface area of the wall is 9 metres squared. The surface area that is affected at time t hours is a metres squared. A biologist proposes that the rate of change of A is proportional to the product of the surface area that is affected and the surface area that is unaffected. Write down a differential equation for this model. Right, so what we're looking at, we want a dy by dx equals kind of scenario, but we're looking here at the rate of change of A, the area, how the area of the fungus spreads, okay, how that changes. So the rate of change of the area is written as dA by dt. Now, A being the area and T being time. Now, we're told that that, that is proportional. So we use the proportionality symbol. That is proportional to the product of the surface area that is affected. Now the surface area that is affected was A. So it's the product of A and the surface area that is unaffected. Now we know that the area of the wall is 9 metres squared. So the part of the wall that is unaffected will be 9 minus A. Because 9 is the whole bit of the wall and A is the bit that is affected. So it's the product of the bit that is affected with the part that is unaffected. So that's all well and good, but that's not a differential equation. So what we do is we replace the uh, proportionality symbol. We're saying, well, that means that dA by dt will be equal to some multiple of a times 9 minus a. Okay, and that is how we set up the differential equation that we want. So, as I said, break the question down, read it very, very carefully. And hopefully, this has shown you kind of some ideas of how to go about it.